Okay, welcome to my laboratory. Um, I'm going to demonstrate an effect that uh, 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 Lumen first pointed out and X0013 uh, has been playing with. And so uh, we'll see if we can do it right here. Um, these are pretty, they're two pretty good compasses and they indicate, uh, they're agreeing, they indicate north as you can see. Uh, and I'm down in the basement, I've got a lot of metal around me, but um, I can tell you that this is a pretty true representation of which direction north and south is. And I don't know if you can really tell or not from your viewpoint on YouTube, but uh, the dip angle, that is the the angle of the magnetic field lines that uh, are not parallel to the surface of the Earth, but rather are descending or climbing out of it. The dip angle is pretty intense because I'm actually pretty far north. Um, so the magnetic field lines of the Earth's field are actually coming, if you will, up at an angle, okay, rather than absolutely parallel to the ground. Um, so. Oh yeah, before we do that, okay, now here I have a little NDB magnet, uh, that's the blue side, and that's the not blue side, okay, so I call it the white side and the blue side. Now let's see which one is, I'm going to hold the blue side this way and we'll see. Okay, so it's pretty clear, the blue side is the side that the north needle points to. All right, okay. So that's that's our polarity, all right? So now, here, I'm going to move the compasses out of the way because uh, these are my good compasses, okay? I don't want to get them magnetized, all right? Now I have a... Uh, copper bar, a square cross-section copper bar. This is fairly pure copper and it is uh, 12 of, well, what does that say right there? That actually says half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. Okay, so that's a one-half inch square cross-section copper bar about yay long. <coughs> And there's uh, the magnet. So what I'm going to do is do a, an eddy current demonstration. I'm going to hold the, the copper bar this way, and I'm going to take the magnet and just put it on the copper bar, and then let it go. All right. And it's pretty standard behavior of that magnet with the blue side. Out. Now we'll put it on there with the silver side out, and uh, slide that went out there. I have actually found that this test is really sensitive to the angle that you hold the bar at. I can hold the, the uh, bar quite steep, as long as the blue side is out, it stays on there. But if I hold the angle steep and put the white side on there, I cannot get it to stay on. All right. It always wants to roll instead of sliding like that. Now, if I make the angle lower, uh, it'll stay on there. That may be because it's a square magnet. I don't know. But if let's see what happens here. See there? So it starts at a low angle, and it stays on there okay. But if I raise it up, it falls off. If I do that with the blue side out, no problem. Okay, now let's uh, uh, rotate the bar a quarter turn and let's see if the same thing happens. That's blue side out. Blue side out. White side out. White side out. <laughs> it won't stay on there with the white side out. Look at that. At a lower angle, it does, and then it falls off. Okay, rotate the bar, quarter of a turn. Repeat. Same thing. Silver side falls off, 
blue side out stays on at quite a steep angle. I mean, almost vertical it stays on. And when it does fall off, it doesn't do it nearly in the same manner that it does when you have this silver side out. Quarter turn, rotation. Oh, it almost looked like it was going to stay on, didn't it? There is a critical uh, angle of steepness, like I said. If you hold it below that angle, it'll stay on. But if you get a little bit, whoops, it flipped over and then stayed on. Okay, if you get a little above that angle, right there, it falls off. Pretty strange, huh? I have no theory for this. Uh, when it was first described to me, I thought that it might be because the axis of magnetization of the magnet might be different from the physical axis of the magnet. But this has now been repeated several times by several different observers. And uh, with this little square magnet, I don't see how it could really, uh, how that effect could be uh, so pronounced. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching.